Also be aware, if you ever get challenged on no suicide contracting, there is no empirical basis for it. So commitment to treatment, crisis response planning, safety planning, solid empirical basis now. Solid empirical basis for those things, no empirical basis for this uh, in terms of uh, historically uh, the use of no suicide contracting. So what makes a good agreement? So what makes a good agreement uh, is really simple. What makes a good agreement is an agreement to living. So I would encourage you that however you do this, and you can do this in, in whatever variable way you like. I'll give you the example of what we do. But I would encourage you that what you're really asking the patient to do is I want you to make a commitment to living, and then I'm going to define that as you're going to be involved in treatment. Here's what it means to be in treatment. So you've got to define what it means to be in treatment. And then as a part of that, I'm going to ask you to use your crisis response plan, your safety plan. That's making a good commitment. And so uh, it's not a commitment not to do something to yourself. It's a commitment to living and a commitment to treatment and care. And we're going to incorporate the response plan uh, as a part of, of that, overall, uh, that overall commitment. So 